My sister and I were both born with cystic fibrosis, which causes excess buildup of mucus in our lungs. We've both had times where we could barely breathe. Doctors advised us to stay six feet apart from each other at all times. We're told right from the beginning that anybody with CF should not be anywhere near each other. I'm scared that we can pick up lung infections. Those lung infections can be fatal. So this is my nebulizer and I do this twice daily. And what it does is it helps break up the mucus in my lungs. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes to do the whole treatment. Cystic fibrosis is a life-threatening condition that damages your lungs and your digestive system. When my cystic fibrosis flares up and it's at its worst, I would say it's hard to just breathe. I'll wake up and I'm, before I even put my feet on the floor, I feel tired because it feels like my body's attacking me. So this is my vest. I do this two times a day for about 15 minutes. And what it does is it shakes your whole body and especially like your lung area that breaks up extra mucus and helps me expel it. It can be frustrating having to do all this before my day even starts, but I've been doing this since I was nine years old, so now I'm pretty used to it. For the first nine years of my life, doctors thought I had really bad asthma and they thought I was lactose intolerant. I know that it really affected my parents because they were constantly taking me back and forth to different doctors, just trying to figure out what was wrong with me. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. When my sister was born, she had the mandatory newborn testing and it came back that she had cystic fibrosis. They instantly knew that was exactly what I had. How worried were you when the doctors told you how serious cystic fibrosis was? Scaring out of my mind, for sure. Your life expectancy at the time when you were diagnosed, you said like 15 to 18, it was like, what is this? What are we gonna do now? Since I had gone nine years of my life untreated, the doctors told my parents that I probably wouldn't make it to 18. I remember seeing him very upset. As the years have gone on, he's always told me that it broke his heart. Um, sorry, I don't, I don't get an emotional. Once we started getting the treatments, you responded pretty well to it. So then they said that you would be maybe into your young 20s. This past May, I turned 25, and I'm actually doing very well right now. And I'm also on life-changing medicine that should extend my life expectancy. It was crazy. She was little and got sick. She went right into the hospital. We didn't know if she was going to come home. Over the years, my sister and I have been frequent in the hospital. We've both had times where we could barely breathe. When she was younger, she had some times where she was in there for three, four weeks. Between us, we've spent months in hospitals. We're told right from the beginning that anybody with CF should not be anywhere near each other. And they said that, you know, six foot apart was like the absolute closest you could go. The risks of being around my sister, it could be easier for us to pass lung infections back and forth. We could get each other sick. Every time they said that, or like you guys, you and mom said, oh, you guys shouldn't be that close. You shouldn't drink out of this. You shouldn't be all touchy touchy. I'm like, it's kind of difficult because I'm like, best friends with my sister. If we're near you all the time, like I'm scared that we can pick up lung infections. It sucks because those lung infections can be fatal. We try to avoid each other when we're sick, but it's really hard because my sister is my best friend and I want to be around her when I don't feel good and I like go a few weeks without seeing you. I hate it. Obviously, I want to be around you, but I would hate to know that I got you sick or hurt you. But now you're both doing great, so that's awesome. You and you guys are both healthy, then we can hang out. I've posted on TikTok over the years about my cystic fibrosis, but it was very sporadic. Recently, I posted a video talking about how social media is a highlight reel and you never actually know what somebody's going through. You never know what people have to go through on a daily basis. It hit almost a million views. I then started posting more about cystic fibrosis and building a larger community on social media. Do you want to make a TikTok? Sure. We're our best. Yeah. Me and my sister have cystic fibrosis and we have to do this two times a day for 15 minutes. It has a big battery pack in the back. It looks like you're a ninja turtle. Um, and it helps you breathe better. Yeah. So, keeps us alive. <laughs>
when we post TikToks, there's a lot of like negative and positive comments that we get, but many of them are negative. This girl said that we should clear our throat. I sound like a smoker. This one asked why I am constantly catching my breath in my videos. When I see people trolling my sister like that, it hurts because I know how she wants to make other people happy and like other people that have the disease like seen, like she wants to make sure they're noticed. She doesn't deserve that. There's also many people that contact her and say thank you for spreading awareness because it really helps other people. And I've had a lot of moms reach out to me that were, they just found out their newborn has CF. The more awareness that is spread, the more money that can be raised to help find a cure for cystic fibrosis and improve not only my quality of life, but my sisters and everybody else that has cystic fibrosis. Hi, babe. Hi, my love. Dating with cystic fibrosis can be a bit difficult. When I started dating my current boyfriend, Aaron, we were three months into our relationship and I had to be hospitalized. It really scared me because I didn't know where, uh, how to react from it and what to do from that. Hit me like this CF thing can like come out of nowhere to affect you guys. And... I feel like you handled it well though. I have always been protective over my sister. But when they started dating, she used to text me every single day and was like, oh my God, like this guy is such a sweetheart. She can do her treatments in front of him and not feel uncomfortable. I was like, he's definitely the one for her. I approve. My hopes for my sister and I's future would be to be successful, happy, and healthy. I think that we are capable of being able to live a long and healthy life as long as we take all of our medications and keep up with our health. I feel like Georgia and Alexis, they deal with their condition pretty well. I don't know how other people take it, but they seem like they kill it pretty much on a daily day basis. They're both really good fighters. They're tough. They're both really, really pretty amazing kids. I couldn't imagine what life would be like if I actually did stay six feet apart from my sister at all times. We love to do everything together. Sharing a condition has brought us very close. Really, if anything is going on in our life, even besides cystic fibrosis, it's easier to understand where we're coming from because we do have that in common and it's a big life-changing thing to have in common. It's nice having a built-in best friend. Love you. Love you.